What is up, friends? My name is Laura. If you've never visited my YouTube channel before, welcome. As many of you know, I do love hiking and backpacking really all around the world, as well as the comfort of my own home right here in Arizona. But this week, I am going to be starting on a road trip through New Mexico and then through Colorado. I'm going to be bringing my dog, Thor. And we're gonna be doing some amazing, amazing hiking and backpacking trips. On a lot of my videos in the past, I've been getting a lot of questions as to what I take just kind of some of my regular things, but also some of my luxurious things on these overnight backpacking trips. So today that is what I'm going to be showing to you. I am going to be keeping it as simple and affordable as possible, but I'm gonna show you just some of the options that I have. I'm gonna link every single thing that I can find on Amazon below. If you do shop through me, I appreciate it so much too, and I do get a very small commission. After those more simple items, I'm going to show you some of my more luxurious items and get in a little bit of if you're kind of doing a multi multi day, like over three or four days, some of the things that you still may want to include on your travels. As I said before, I will be hiking to some very beautiful peaks, including the tallest peak in New Mexico and the tallest peak in Colorado within the next two weeks here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss those hiking and life adventures. Let's get started. So the first couple of items that I'm going to be talking about doesn't matter where in the world you are. For example, I'm here in Arizona, but I will still always have a rain jacket. And honestly, I, it basically can be any kind of uh, just rain jacket. Just make sure it's not just water repellent. Make sure it actually is waterproof. You really never know when a sudden downpour comes wherever you are in the world. Especially when you're at the top of a mountain, you just want to be prepared. So I actually have an Arteryx one. I did originally get this from REI. I have loved this. I actually only backpacked a few times with it, but I've heard amazing things about Arteryx and it has a lifetime warranty. So I'm very excited about that. Again, I will link everything that I talk about that I possibly can find on Amazon just for your lovely at home shopping needs right now. But I have been very, very happy. It's just a plain black. I find for taller people too, um, it's really made it so that it's like kind of all the way to the end of my arms, which is actually kind of rare. Before this, I did have a Columbia one and I still found it really, really a lot, really good. The next thing that I always have in my bag, partly depending how long the hike's gonna be, but also the area that you're hiking in. Even if you're overnight someplace, I still, and it's in a warmer area, I still want that extra layer. So I always like my, the North Face, and it is definitely a puffer jacket. It has a lot of insulation there. The good thing about these kind of jackets, they can roll very, very small, and there's a little kind of sack within it, so you kind of can just bunch it all up. But this is this is a very large jacket. I wouldn't take it if I was going through the Grand Canyon or anything like that, but I will have it with me on my Colorado adventure. I'm a pretty big fan of hiking just in regular leggings. One of the things that I do like is having pockets at the side, whether that's just to put my camera in or I can't find like a little trash bag and I just want to throw it in quickly. That's always good. I really like Lululemon um, kind of long tights. Those have always been my favorite. I find them like very good in sweat wicking. If you're looking for more of a uh, hiking pant, um, I know they do have great ones at REI. I'm very tall. I'm just over 5'10", so they never are long enough for me. The ones that I do have though are Columbia and you can get them in the length long which is really nice for us tall people and those have worked really really well for me for a few years When it comes to layers on top, you know, you probably have some things just from going to the gym or just laying around your house. I don't think it's a huge deal to invest in some really big specific name brand ones. But I mean, even honestly going to Costco, I have some that are really great base layers and kind of will keep the, and will keep the sun off of your skin for those long days. So even if I'm hiking in a kind of warmer area, I really don't want to get skin damage, especially when I'm older. And so I always make sure to kind of just hike with a longer thin layer. When it comes to water, I think having a bladder, some sort of platypus, some sort of mine's osprey has been a complete game changer. It makes sure I hydrate a lot more regularly. I don't have to stop and kind of awkwardly put it in and out, but this has been great and I love it. Honestly, on really long work days, if I find myself being dehydrated and I'm just kind of sitting down, I'll honestly just fill it up and have it beside me. And I always like sipping out of a straw a little bit better than a glass. I'm not sure if that's, I don't know. Let me know in the comments 
comments below if I'm just weird with that, but I always like a bladder and I always take also a follow-up water bottle just in case there are to have any leaks in here or if I just need to fill up along the way just to have that there. I do have myself a jet boil. Again, make sure you subscribe because I will do a full review of one of these quickly in the near future. But mine is just the smallest one. One thing that I'll say, um, just kind of pro tip, is I've been around people with other jet boils and they're just only slightly larger and they have like just the push so that it just lights. Whereas mine, I need an actual lighter. And I don't know why I didn't do more research going into this one, <laughs> but I do have this. I still absolutely love it. It just sucks if there happens to be wind it just kind of it, it won't work or you just have to like shield it a little bit more but besides that I have loved my jet boil I cook any kind of meals in here I cook you know smokies I cook like honestly just everything so I really enjoy it highly recommend and I did get this off Amazon as well two things that I will say I almost always not almost, I always have in my bag, regardless if it's a small trip or a much larger trip, is first of all, sunscreen. I am just very pale and <laughs> I reapply every couple of hours, but regardless, it's very good to have your sunscreen, especially if you're going into higher elevations. The Scots the sun is a lot more damaging on your skin. And the second thing, kind of depending where you're going, but I always have a lot of bug spray. The mosquitoes love me, unfortunately, so I spray myself everywhere on a very regular basis when I'm in the woods. Things like beef jerky, um, pepperoni sticks, corn nuts, Pringles, all of those kind of things. I always take those for snacks for in between meals. And I did bring some out here. My favorite is probably Mountain House. I get the bucket on Amazon so that there's like six different kinds. Um, they're definitely not cheap though. These average when you're getting them in bulk to about $8 a meal. I will say I never finish one of these. So if you're kind of just with two people who don't have a huge, huge appetite or you just want to have a snack on the side, this should be fine for you. Um, I will say I also normally have like something like ramen in um, and I'll give this an example just because I have it packed for Colorado and you just are adding water and no, it's probably not the most healthy. It is loaded with sodium, but it is a much cheaper friendly option for my budget. Two more things, I've been a huge fan since I got them about four years ago um, of just hiking shoes in general. I get a pretty high top as you can see here. Um, if you go somewhere like REI, I honestly, if you've never had hiking shoes before, I do recommend going there. First of all, to get fitted, they're like super knowledgeable there and they're just really friendly and helping you with your goals for your hiking shoes. I like like a good waterproof one. This is Oboe's. Um, I also have had Solomon in the past and been very happy with them. Um, it's honestly just a very basic hiking shoe shoe but just one that will give your ankle a little bit more support and then like I said waterproof so I highly encourage you to invest in a good pair of hiking boots if you don't already have those for a longer hike and you are going overnight you need a tent <laughs> so I have a marmot tent mine is a two-man tent I just kind of got that because a lot of the times that I'm going with someone it's just one of like my friends that I don't know they're pretty small at, or I'm just going with my dog and I so I just didn't really want to additionally have that extra weight so I've been very happy with my two-man marmot it's very light although you can barely see it here, but two person tent, um, that's the exact one. And like I said, I'll link it below, but I've been really happy with it for about three years now. I've taken it on multiple trips all around North America. Um, I will say I am in the market still for a three man tent, just so that if there's, you know, two people, two other people, it's definitely not too squishy. Or if I have my dog as well as a friend, it will work out just a little bit better. Finally, for those long hikes, I also would say a sleeping bag. And I kind of am just putting this last year, guys, because honestly, there are so many out there. And then depending on the weather that you're going into, if you're going into something super, super cold, I don't want to be recommending one that's, you know, 10 degrees or anything like that. So do your research on that. Mine will get you to um, negative 10 degrees. So it's definitely a cooler one. And that's why it's a little bit bigger. But I know since I've got this one, they've definitely come out with some that are a little bit more compact, which I would now like to invest in. But mine is Big Agnes. I've been happy with it. I've had it for a few years. 
used it so many times. Um, but like I said, just kind of do your research, but you will want to invest in some sort of sleeping bag and sleeping pad along the way. So those are kind of my essential things that I bring on basically any backpacking trip. Almost all of those things, if I'm on a long one day backpacking trip, like the highest peak in Colorado that I'll be doing next week, um, I'll still throw basically every single thing that I talked about in there minus the tent. If you are new to backpacking, I'm going to now give you some suggestions um, as to things that I additionally bring when I'm going on those multi-day backpacking trips. Again, depending where you're going, and I will start with gloves. I typically have a liner glove wherever I'm going. You never know when you have to kind of like do a scramble over rocks and that will keep your hands from getting all torn up. Mine are pretty basic, but they also kind of have the little finger area stickies so that um, I also could like open my phone or something like that if I need. I always really liked OR gloves. I don't know if that's how you say them. That's how I say it in my mind. I've had liner gloves of theirs before. They ripped after like two years of use. Um, and now I have them a little bit bigger. I do recommend sizing up when you're getting gloves so you can put your liner gloves in there just for added warmth. I also have a buff, which are great. A lot of people, you know, they'll see people wearing them at the gym, which honestly, I can sometimes wear them as a headband, especially on like day four when my hair is getting greasy. But I really like a good buff. Um, it Normally, you kind of can put it right here and it'll keep the wind or the dust or anything like that from getting into your lungs. So a good buff is always really recommended on kind of those multi-day hikes, especially if you're going somewhere that's a little bit more dusty or you know the wind is about to hit you. depending how long I'm going for, but I will say this is my ride or die. I love my Osprey bag. It fits me so well, Ugh, it's just the best. So I love the color blue um, and it's the Aura 65. So one thing that I do like about this is the top will detach, making it just 55, um, which you somewhat can get through as a carry-on. It's kind of snug, but I do also have a 36 liter, um, which I'm not going to be bringing it on this trip, um, but I do like that one. It's always going to fit as a carry on. And then if you're doing like a long through hike, like I'm hoping to do here, if the world opens back up, but the Annapurna circuit where you're actually just, you don't need to bring your tent. You're just staying in little uh, tea houses along the way. That's perfect for that kind of trip. I have always liked my Garmin watch. I've had this for about a year and a half and it works wonderful. It's a fairly basic Garmin watch, but I always like knowing kind of the elevation that I'm hitting, um, just the weather outside, what my heart rate is just for like health purposes, all of those kind of things. So that's something that I love bringing. Um, definitely not something that you need to invest in at the beginning, but if you are serious about hiking and you do want to kind of know those things about yourself and know the health with yourself, um, especially for future hikes, I highly recommend a Garmin watch. I also have myself at InReach and I'm not going to talk too much about that because you could get on into that for a two hour video and I'm gonna be doing a video on it shortly just to show you my latest feature, the latest features of it and why I like it so much. But it's great so that you don't get lost. You can kind of have friends seeing where you're at. It will always have reception and it's just a really great thing, especially if you're solo hiking, but if you're on a longer hike, just to stay connected to friends and family and of course, find the trail. I have, like I said, been hiking and backpacking for about three years. I've been a hiker most of my life, but um, I have some big goals in the future, which I'm very, very excited for. So if you guys have any questions about the backpacking gear or want to share with me some of your goals, comment that below and I will be happy to answer or cheer you on in the process. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Keep living life.